This is a quick demonstration of intuitive file management between a local file system and a remote file system. Typically, whenever we start using high-performance computing resources, one of the things that happens with your workflow is that there is an increase in the management of files that takes us both locally and are synced on the remote file system. What this demonstrates is an intuitive way of working with the files, both locally and remotely, with tools that you have on your own machine. The main tools that we'll be talking about is SSHFS for mounting a remote file system onto the local machine, and then tools like MELD for actually uh, comparing the two folders once it's mounted. So what I've done is I've created a little folder distribution here. And in this case, I'll be working with this SSHFS uh, demo folder. And what we want to do is basically copy this over to remote file system. Uh, we'll be using the Gram uh, compute system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure copy this folder over to a directory that I have there in my home directory on Gram. Now I'm using the Gram data transfer node ca and just putting this in a demo folder uh, in my home directory there. And this is just using a standard secure copy recursive, moving my sshfs demo folder. Because I don't have my ssh keys set up, I'm just going to query for my password. Now, what it's done is it's moved these three files that I have in this directory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to look in my uh, browser, my folder browser here, and I have here my sshfs demo folder. Now in there I see that I have folder 1, and in it are three files, and that's what we saw got transferred to the remote directory. So now this local folder that I have, SSHFS demo, has been copied over to a remote location via the Gram data transfer node. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make an empty local folder that I will then um, mount that remote directory to. So I'm going to call this uh, new folder the uh, remote SSHFS demo. And if I list what I have here, I now have the original folder. And then I have this empty uh, new remote SSHFS demo folder. Now that I have this empty folder, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mount the remote directory that I just copied over with SSHFS. And I'm going to mount it into this new empty directory. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to use sshfs. I'm going to mount into my new empty folder the remote directory that I just moved over there using scp. Now, what this does is now having to access my uh, file system on gram, query for my credentials, And now what I can see is if I list the contents of this uh, new remote SSHFS demo folder that I've just mounted, I see that I have that folder one and the files within there. So what I can do now is I can go to my file browser and then I can see in this remote SSHFS demo, I can explore the folder as though we're on my local directory, but this is actually the data that is on the remote file system, my home directory at Gram. Now, I can use all of these, you know, local tools like my browser. I can do things like um, copy and paste the directory. And then rename the directory, things like this. I can also go into these files and I can, for example, um, open this using the um, tools like gedit and I can edit this file. So I'll modify this called, just add remote edit to this 
and save it. And then everything that's being done in this mountain directory, I'm actually editing remotely. Now, here we have both the, the local uh, original folder, and then we have the mounted version that's on the remote directory. And as we work with it in either one or the other location, they become hard to keep track of. So it's also good once we start using these, these intuitive ways of using local tools on a remote file system to be able to visualize uh, what's changed where um, and, and see the differences. So an intuitive way of doing this is using software called Meld. And the way that we run this is we just call meld, and then what we're going to do is we're going to compare the SSHFS demo folder to the remote SSHFS demo mount folder. And what this does is it brings up this comparison of the two directories, where on the left we see the original local directory, which says that you know we have this folder 1, and then we have files 1 through 3. Here it says that the folder 2 does not exist, but it does exist on the right, and the right is the actual remote mounted one. Now we see here that this folder 2 is newer on the remote directory. And what we can do is we can just download this by selecting the folder and then clicking copy left. Now this folder is the same in both locations, both locally and in my uh, home directory on Gram. We can also use this to examine specific files. For example, this file 1 in folder 1 says that it is newer on the remote directory uh, and different. If I double click on this, it opens it and we can see the difference between them. And then what I can do is actually just click on this arrow to update the content of the file locally and then save it. Now, if I go back into the browser, I can see that in my local SSH demo folder, I have both folder 1 and folder 2. And if I go into file 1, I can see that the content is updated. <laughs>